everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. Not just kidding, Jurassic World the game. Almost got it completely wrong. Uh, no, did actually. And yet we're still here in the right game. So we are in Jurassic World the game. How you doing, legends? Yeah, I'll read. It's been a while, hasn't it? But there's some cool things going on in the game. There's also a new dinosaur coming to the game, as well as a cool little boss. I was actually not going to record this today. And then... Well, while I was gonna do something else, I, I, I had it. I was doing the rounds in the morning and then I saw there was a cool bossy boss. Well, maybe not a boss, but like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, that we, we could do that. We could do that as well as showcase the new thing. So if we go into news, we've got this clawfully creepy. A new generation of this clawed creature is coming your way. And it's a claw creature, which means it's probably gonna be a Therizinosaurus. Which also means that it is highly likely it is a Therizinosaurus Gen 2. Now, if we go into here, we go into herbivores. Um, I don't know if it's... Is it alphabetical? No, they should really do it alphabetical. We already have Therizinosaurus. Now, this Therizinosaurus came out in 2016? I think it was 2016-17. It wasn't in with the base game. But... Um, it's, you know, Dominion came out in 2022, so this predated the Dominion Therizinosaurus. And we've seen that with a lot of dinosaurs, like Pyraptor and stuff like that. You know, when Dominion came out, they released a Gen 2 version. So, I'm assuming we're about to get a Gen 2 version of Therizinosaurus. But, I'm also here because I was doing the rounds and I was like, oh, okay, let's do the Battle Stage Infinite. <gasps> oh my god, we have something crazy, but also... Oh, it didn't- it didn't save my things. Okay, cool, sweet. I have to go and use a- a-, a instant thingy. Yay! <laughs> Actually, I'll not do the other ones. I'll not do the other two because they're not too dissimilar from what else I've got. Also, Master Donosaurus in this case is actually better because as opposed to Prestosuchus, I think just survived. Like, yeah, little bitty. So we're gonna do you. Do we go for a full team of Pteranodons? Or, sorry, uh, amphibians, or do we put one Pteranodon in? I mean, look at, like, this is what I mean. This is like a boss level Indominus Rex. Look at that health, 22,000. That is more than the other two d dinosaurs combined. Um, as well as 6,987 attack. It's got more attack than any of them, and it's got more health than them both combined. Um, that's why this one's kind of crazy. It is only level 178, whereas the other one, Trodon's like two for one. Um... You know what it is. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to switch to a flyer. Because the Secadontogonathus isn't the best, really, in terms of health and things like that. But Metrophodon, really? The only downside of Met Metrophodon is that it can be killed in one hit. And that means that it's very dainty. But it does do, like, 5,200 damage. And especially, you know... It can kill the Bahagawasaurus in two hits. However, no, Zalmondon can't. Damn, I was thinking if Zalmondon could, then it could also survive a hit from Indom Indominus Rex. Okay, this is going to be it, guys. This is it. The boss level event. Let's go. Look at it. Ah, like, oh. All right. Is it doable? Uh, hopefully it is. We'll use our block. Oh, God. Please be. Please be doable. I'd like it. Oh, okay. Okay, this is great. Because now we can go for two blocks and make sure we survive. And then if it does go for two attacks, I mean, we could do like 10,000 damage to it. Or we could go for three block and then next turn go for four reserves. Yeah. Okay. Everything's going kind of according to... Oh, it, oh this thing really wants me dead. <laughs> oh, no. Well, now I'm going to go for four. I could have went for two, four, six, eight. I could have went for like 16,000 damage, but I'd rather... Oh my god, this thing is not slowing down. <laughs> oh, Master Dorosaurus, I just... It just didn't like you. What more can I say? Uh, so Metrof... 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 Comes in with 5,000. So one, two... Um... Do oh... Right. So... He's going to be halved. So he, ca he can kill me in two... So, if I go for two block, I die. So, I have to go for three block. We use our big brain plays here. A Metrophodon, the tiny little Tyrannodon, kills the boss Indominus Rex Gen 2. 
That is the strongest Indominus Rex I've ever seen in the game so far. Um, but this guy... Aha! Oh my god, it's all low! Jeez, okay, okay. Right, uh, so we can go for two, and then we, I think we pretty much won at this point. The back is us. It'll probably... I mean, Trodon will probably go for all our attack. I'm assuming. I'm assuming it will. Oh, it's good to be back in this game. I, do, I mean, as much as I rag on it, and as much as it is a meme, to be like, Welcome back to episode 3421 of the podcast. Um, I, I do enjoy it. There's something about its simplicity, and it's not as rage-inducing as Jurassic World Alive, and it's not as, like, money-hungry as Jurassic World Alive is. You know, it's not like they release a new dinosaur and it's a paywall. Like, pretty much. It's like, oh, you want to use it? You want it to be good? Paywall? Ha-ha! <laughs> Jurassic World, the game's quite nice in that regard. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh, that... Ooh, that was jammy. That was a lot of bucks. Heck yeah. Right, so the next one's a common. We don't really need to worry about the common, but the reason why I did that is because now I've got all of these! And we are getting closer each day to unlocking... I was going to say Belter. <laughs> what is it? D beta. Beta and Delta became Belter. <laughs> Y'all, that me, that's Belter, that is League. Um, so, we'll go... <laughs> none of you, for not you, all you non jordies out there, Belter means amazing in Geordie. Um, so, we'll get all of these. And I want to see what other things we can do with the weekly in order. So, opening card packs. I mean, I'm going to eventually do that. Uh, start one new Gyrosphere tour. Uh, win five battles with mod and hatch three Cenozoics. But the biggest prizes are hatch 25 Jurassics. Um, which isn't so bad, I guess. Because if I go in here and I go into herbivore, let's say. Yeah, you got all of these. Like, I could spend 100 DNA, activate it, speed it up. And that's a Jurassic creature, right? And then I can just sell it. Uh, and then I can go in here again. Oh, okay. I was going to say, if, there's a, if there was a way to quickly and easily do it. If I go here, I go activate. We'll do you. Yep. Uh, we'll place you. Now I can go in here. Oh my god, we have so many Triceratopses. Uh, we'll do you. Yep. Activate. Speed for free. Oh, like, honestly, when I make my, my list for the best dinosaurs in uh, Jurassic World, uh, the game, Triceratops will still be in there. Because it has to be. It's like the cheapest dinosaur in the game. It's so good for like grinding through missions. It's invaluable. And it's like the first it's the first dinosaur you ever get. I mean, oh, everything. If you've seen my top 10 uh, dinosaurs in Jurassic World the game, um, it's slightly outdated as far as like the top like few go. But some of them are still very um like because Yudon would have made it as like number one. But at the time, Yudon was rubbish, so it didn't. <laughs> Right, so we place all this. Have we, did we do it? Yes, yeah, 630. Bam! That's one. And there's two. And is it three? It's three. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Fuse 8 Carnivores actually is also another very easy one to get. Now, um, hopefully this is, you know, teaching you how to do it as well. So we, if you want that mission, well, we'll collect all those coins because yes, could it use the new blow. Now, I want to go to the, in, the in, intervention, innovation center. I want to go to carnivores, majungasaurus. Now, we only have three of these. Um, we, we, oh, I've got stuff to hatch. And majungasaur is the counterpart to triceratops. It's the second dinosaur you ever get. Um, what's good about it is that it's a carnivore. So if you've got a mission like this, as in fused carnivores, you can use this guy. Um, it's also super cheap, only costing 110, which is you know, 10 DNA more than the other one. Uh, the Triceratops, which really isn't that much. And now we all we need to do is do... It was like four fuses or was it eight fuses? Either way, it's not that hard to do. Um, because not only is Majungasaurus an instant hatch, because it is a, is a belter, <laughs> we'll get you to use that slang properly, dear. Come to the Gaming Beaver here for true Geordie slang. Yes. Oh, we've also got a... Oh, somebody's got COVID in the game. Oh, no. Code 19. Uh, I'm good. That's fine. If it's, if it's 90 DNA, I don't really care about it. We'll head back to Nublar, back to the Innovation Center, back to the Majungasaurus enclosure, which is... Oh, God, there's another one. Um, I'll just double check to see what we need first. Is it? What we got? It's Fuse 8 Conover, so it's actually 6 we only need to do. Oh, 65, even less. You kidding me? Oh, Lord. Oh, um, 
I want to wait. I want to wait. It's telling me it, it, there's something to do, and that's just to watch it go wee. Um, right. So back to uh, Nubla. My bad. Back to Majunga Source. So that is one, two, three. Hmm. Okay. Four with this one. And now we need four more. So what we can do is I can sell these guys for 220, sell a level 30 for 220. So, you know, we, we're making our DNA back slightly. And now, uh, oh yeah, it's going to cost food, but let's be honest, it's only a couple of thousand food per... I mean, in total, if you've got 100k food, you're probably okay to do this mission. Um, I'm assuming everyone has the same mission in Jurassic World, the game. So hopefully, you know, we're all sort of going through this together. So we can activate. And what's really good about this is it's a free friggin F fuse. You don't need to spend any books. And if there's something I've learned in this game, it's that if you can avoid spending books on things, you have to do it because you're going to need those books for later in the game. I've also turned on icons again. It was like, look at that. I, it was like, do you want to turn on uh, like icons? What do you mean? Why were they off? And then I was like, oh, look at the pretties. <laughs> uh, so that is two fuses done. We go in here, activate. I've got to be very careful. I don't accidentally click something that takes me uh, to, you know, because I can very easily do that and it'll take me to a screen where I've accidentally fused a level 20 or something and then I need to pay bucks to free that up so activate here. So we should only now need one more, I think. If my big brain has helped me in any regard, it is... Oh no, never mind! Haha, <laughs> what big brain, eh? <laughs> so we need uh, four more. In fact, I'm pretty sure I said that, yeah. Uh, that's what. I don't want to click the uh, instant hatch because... I'm pretty sure that will cost me bucks anyway. Um, and of course, I've only got four of those. The other thing we've got to do as well is hatch Cenozoics, which again, because we've got our instant hatches, is very easy to do. And we can use that to help segue us into something else, um, like a creature that we actually need, rather than wasting our uh, things that we only get once a week. Oh, sorry, once a month. Is it once a week? I feel like it's once a week. Once a month seems a bit crazy. Um, <laughs> but then again, this is Jurassic World the game, and they will do anything to save money or make money. My bad. Uh, so we'll put all you guys in. Done. Activate. Done. Oh, we got another code 19. Wow, they predicted it, man. I like how they, they've stuck to it. They, they weren't like, you know, uh, maybe we should change it from... Uh, Code 19 or something else? No! We came up with it first. We can't cow down. Cow tower to it. Is it cow tower? Cow down? God, I don't know. There's keys. Lots of cows. Right. Yes. Right. So, yeah, there we go. We're done. So, that is another 630 taking us to another two prizes. And then, of course, you've got the complete daily objectives, which we're going to get because we've got 10 days left in this. What's this one? Ah! 225. An Ostoposaurus. Yes. This is what we're waiting for. This one's a good one. Oh, it's a hard one. So I doubt we're going to get the max DNA. That's the only problem with these. If it's got a good chance of getting good DNA, chances are I'm not going to do it because it's it'll have like three of those tickers on the bottom. This one will only have two, but the last one I need to hit dead on. Uh, yeah, let's do a couple of these. Maybe another, another one. Wait, actually, it might be another ticker on the bottom. No, it's not. It's not a ticker. Okay. Okay. Right, maybe this one's... Is it? Is this one it? Nope! No! <laughs> I was so close! There we go, okay. But we still got over 200 DNA. It could have been like 500, but again, look at that. All that DNA, we're, we, we've got back from doing the Majungasaur now, from doing that. So we go... Boom, 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 boom! Yeah! Okay, so I think... It is, yeah, 7,250. Now, the only problem with this is that even if you do upgrade, I like how Ludia is no longer giving me it to showcase anymore. They went, you know what? You're bad-mouthing our games too much. Naughty beaver. <laughs> so, even if I did get this pack, you don't unlock it. So, I mean, the only thing that I'm getting, you know, I'm missing out on is books and DNA, but really, because I'm not unlocking it and there's no need to instantly rush for it, I'm okay. Oh, so the green one tells me what I need to fuse. That's interesting. So, we can have a look at what other things we can do. I mean, really, this is the best one to, you know, speed through. You could, if I'd probably done it as much as I'm doing right now from the start of this pass, I probably could be almost there with uh, 
data or almost have got it by now. So, I mean, start a new gyrosphere draft tour. Now, it doesn't sound too hard, right? Because it's just gyrosphere. But it is 250 freaking books. Now, enhanced VIP prizes are better rewards on all tours. So if we do this one, we've got a higher chance because we are VIP. We can get access to this. This one, I mean, you're, you're not getting too much. I think the only difference is you get better dinosaurs, I suppose. So you know what? Let's do a VIP to Gyrosphere tour. I've never done it in such a long time. So we need to pick the best creatures, if I remember correctly. So obviously it's the Sun Gopterus there. Uh, well, it has to be Indoraptor Gen 2. Easy, easy choice. Um... Ooh, now we could go for another Indominus, but I'm going to go for Mono Stegotops here. Uh, he is a no-brainer. It's got to be the Spinatosuchus. And the final one, right, I'm glad I chose Mono Stegotops because <gasps> Mono Stegotops was the only herbivore that was pretty decent. Um, so Sun Gopterus and then Indo. I, I don't think we need anything else. Is it? Oh, it's on the beach, guys. Oh, I forgot. Can we change the lighting on this one to make it, you know, more not as... What is it? Red. Because with all these arenas, they always seem very, like, the saturation on the red is too high. Um, like, the same with the visitor center. The only one that's lovely to look at, I mean, absolutely lovely to look at, is the, um, the, oh god, the PvP sort of ones uh, with the helicopter pad. That's so good. Okay, so I will switch because I think I can kill it in one hit. Yes, I can. Oh, look at Interruptor Gen 2 on the beach. It looks glorious. All right, so we'll go for one reserve here. Now, if you haven't played the Gyrosphere Tour, like, this game has a lot going for it, we gotta admit, because this is a different type, type of game. Gyrosphere Tour, you, you select from a roster, and you pick, you know, those dinosaurs, and they go forward with you. Now, what's interesting about it is that you need to do four battles in a row, five battles in a row, in order to win the final prize. But your dinosaurs keep the health that they have throughout. So if they take damage in the round one, they keep that for the rest of the rounds, the matches. Right, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna factor in one just in case. Ooh, okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I'm glad I went for two block though. Um, because he's, oh my God. Okay, is it gonna switch? Please don't switch. It's gonna switch. <gasps> I think we might have lost Syngopterus. Oh God, I think we might have. Oh, we're alive. We, we are just alive. Jeez, okay. So that was, I think it's all out attack. It could have been worse, John. Could have been a lot worse. All right, so I'm gonna go for that. Why did I only have three? Did it hit me so hard it knocked one of my things out of me? <laughs> like one of my reserves? <laughs> one of my turns? That was weird. Oh no, because I swapped, of course. Beavers, what you? Oh my God! <laughs> I couldn't negate all of that. I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. My normal way of playing is just to be like, okay, well, we've won this, so it doesn't matter about saving health, right? That's wrong for this. That's not what we want to do. Oh, look at Interrupted Gen 2. Gorgeous. Okay, so we did that battle. Um, now, I think you need to, in order to, you know, get any prizes, you need to get through to the end here. Um, right. I mean, sure, let's just go for this. Um, I'm going to go for one reserve here. I probably should have fought it off a weaker creature because Interrupted Gen 2 is very, very strong. Carnoraptor goes for one hit. Okay, can't kill me in... Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's a bugger. This is a bugger. Um, I will swap out. And I'm just going to fodder off Dimetricarnus. Just going to fodder off Dimetricarnus. I would have had to gone for three to kill him. Then his fly would have came in with two. And then that would have killed my Indoraptor. So uh, I'm glad. I'd rather fodder off this guy. Because Indoraptor has double the attack. Um, right, so I'm coming and it's got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so one, two, kills it. The other thing is going to have three. So I know I can survive one hit. So I'm just going to go for two block and one reserve. That way we kill the Carnoraptor. And in comes the Tappy. All right. If it goes for an all-out attack, that would be brilliant. Um, but I don't think it will. Uh, oh, it actually went for, like, the perfect kind of attack. Uh, do you have more attack than the other one? Your other teammate. You've got one block. You do. Okay, so... One, two. You know what? There we go. I I'm saying goodbye to Indoraptor. Yep. I'm happy with that. It means we were halfway through, and we've only lost two creatures. Two of them are carnivores. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I interrupted Gen 2. You were so good. No. Right, but you come in and you know what? You're not so bad, actually. You've got like the same amount of attack. Not the same amount of health. It's got a lot less health. But we just need to make it through to the end. I think it was four battles. I think. I think it was four battles. Hopefully. I, I don't think I've got enough to go on for three. For three more. I could be wrong, though. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Okay, it is five. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, oh! Um, right. I mean, I'll put them all in. Sure. Uh, we'll go for one block here. Ah, we're not making it, man. We're not making it. I was a fool in that last... In the first turn, I was an absolute fool. Uh, we've already got our mission, really. So that's all I wanted to do. It's 250 bucks, which is a lot to expend. And I'm losing. Like, trading... Uh, books for the the sort of points I get in the season pass is like two, 250 bucks for 220. Um, right, I'm gonna go for this. Okay, good. He's only got three, I think. Could have been really bad. He could have had four and then he could have maybe almost killed me. Been very close. Okay. Okay. Right. What about the other thing? You have 800 attack. Why are you so crazy? Oh, you've killed him. Oh, no. Oh, but it's actually not so bad. We'll see what happens when I lose. Because I feel like if I lose, I still get a prize. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Yeah, because I, I knew this guy was going to kill me. Even if I blocked. So I may as well have put that into reserve. I could be doing so much better. I could be doing so much better if I kept Indoraptor. Okay, my final two creatures. I'm glad I had Monostegatops here. So, one, two. Uh, 700. You know what? We'll go for that. I don't think he can kill me with an all-out attack, but we'll see. Here it is, Sunjagopsis. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't attack me at all, and then I can just ram through it. I just got unlucky. I just got so unlucky. I could have I could have been on full health here for the next battle. There could have been a chance he wouldn't have even attacked me. But no! I mean I could have maybe factored in the attack and then had enough to kill him because only two hits would have killed him but look at the, the lighting so much nicer in this place we actually have shadows right okay um yeah not gonna last long here mate pretty sure of that <laughs> uh, i'll go for one reserve solid like you know i have to i have to play risky here i have to risk the biscuit otherwise it's it's just oh here we go okay well at least i've survived to the next one uh Really, Sun Gopris is maybe the worst to be in this match. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cross my fingers, cross my toes, cross the toes. Don't attack me! Don't attack me! Yes, that's brilliant. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna swap out. You know, I think I'm gonna swap out, and I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna hope that he goes for an all-out attack. That, that's the only thing I can do. I can hope he goes for four. And then at least Monostegatops has the most amount of attack. Oh, actually, it's looking really good. Uh, how much health does Ankylodocus have? I think they're all around about the same. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Monostegatops. So we went for one. Let's just kill this thing. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's not enough. Yeah, now it's done. Now it's done. Because he's, he's going to go for four. Um, and then Sungopterus is gonna have to go for so many to kill the uranium hybrid, and then it's just gonna be over. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm wide open after this. Yeah, one hit kills me, so it, it doesn't even matter. I'm, I'm just gonna go for all reserves. It's, the, the bot knows one hit can kill me. It's gonna have four. Damn, that is hard. Yeah, yeah, it, it's difficult, and it provides a good challenge. And in fact, I would say make the prizes better for this. Like, I'm spending 250 bucks, and what am I getting for it? Like, just some DNA? Don't really care about it? No, really. But you know what? That's... So, do I get anything at all? Oh, I get just for a draft pack. Oh, that's a good way to open packs, actually. Uh, actually, no, it's not, because it costs 250 per pack, so maybe it's not. Uh, 90, no, we're going to do that. Okay, so we started a gyros fee. So, boom, another prize. Take us to 5,000. Um, and I think, that, what was it to hatch three Cenozoic creatures? Okay, so... We could... Oh, I'm trying to, oh, that was a good one. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, anything else good? I want to sell my land and see rival statue. I need to put it with my collection. Yes. 
So we got that one with the Indominus Rex, Blue, and T-Rex. But I do also have this boy. Yeah! For VIPs only is the Mosasaurus. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go whoop. Now we can collect all, and that's a lot to collect. So we, yeah, let's do it. 65. Does it double? I don't think it does. It should do. 30,000 food. 250 DNA. 200,000 coins. Uh, an egg sculpture, which nobody really cares about. No, it doesn't double. That's annoying. It should double. Oh, oh, more. Anything? Oh, 1,500. Oh, we, that was a lot of DNA, actually. Oh, I didn't realize we got a pack. Okay, cool. Running with the raptors. We got a pyraptor. That pyraptor looks so bad. <laughs> now it does, anyway. It looks, it's got, like, a huge bald head. It's amazing. Right. Yeah, oh, 780. It's not as good as the 1,000 and odd we got before. What prizes do we still have yet to get? Right, what's good? We're gonna get a Carnaraptor. At level 11, even. Wow. So it's basically a two Carnaraptors. 150 bucks. 1,200 uh, DNA. And then beta. Okay, so we're getting some. We're also done that. I like this. It's, it's, it's like busy work, but it's good busy work. So now we've got the Cenozoics. So let's have a look at our roster of Cenozoic uh, dinosaurs. So we can go into here, which is just Cenozoic. Um, so we could get, we got the Mammotherium. Uh, let's have a look. Where are you? We go to Nubla. Everything's in Nubla. It's the place to be. Right, let's have a look. So we, I'm pretty sure we don't have the best hybrid in the game. Or if we do, it's not highly leveled. Uh, oh god, okay. It's, just, it's, it's got a whingy puppy there. Uh, <laughs> we'll go into here, and we'll go into hybrids. Okay, so we don't have Dilophobot, and I think that- Yes, because it's Dilophosaur Gen 2. So we do have all of these, however. Um, we got the Rhino- Rhino Protodon. Interesting. So we, we could buy this an instant hatchet. Now it's a level 10, and let's be honest, level 10 is no good because you want a level 20 for what we're asking. So we'll probably we'll go to you. Uh we'll go to you, yep. And then how much is it? So it's 50 it's the second second best. Now, in terms of stats, oh god, it's way, way, way good. Um I mean, you lose 2,000 health, but you gain 1,000, and it is also a planes. I think that's what that is. So, 50, but it's, it's a big chunk. It's a big chunk. Ooh, 57,000. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it. What are your ingredients, actually? Maybe it's better we do that. Uh, let's go to. So, what, what do you need to evolve you? Does it say... Might look cuddly from a distance. I mean, what does it look like at level 40? Okay, just spiky. Right. Don't know what that goes into. Sweet. Cool. Uh, we can go to... So we'll not do hybrids. Let's just go Cenozoics. Uh... Right. Tri Titanoboa. We don't need to worry about. Phosphorakis. Let's have a look. Do you have a hybrid? No, you don't. Are you Gastonus? Are you Phosphorakis? You're Gastonus. Yeah, okay. Mmm. Mmm. You don't either. That's good. So if there's any sort of Cenozoic that we don't have maxed up at the moment, we probably could. I would. I mean, if we're gonna spend our instant hatches, I'd. I want to spend on something that would take a long time. So we have. Oh, one, two. We need one more of these. So seven thousand. I'll pay two hundred fifty bucks for an instant hatch of one of those, and then. That's it. We've got that to level 40 if we need it. Is there any other ones that take a while? Any other tournaments? This guy. The Snakey Poo. All right. So you're 6,000. Instant hatch you. Boom, bada, boom. Bing, bada, bing. And finally, the last one. We instant hatch you for another 250. And that is some Santa Sox. And another 220. Right, that's us to our next prize, which is half a million coin. Yeah, even better. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's awful. Right, okay, so we've done, I think, as many weekly events as we can here. I mean, use 15 savannas. There's prize drop tickets. Now, we've got three days. We need 30. Now, prize drops, I've stopped doing them because they're really not worth it. Like, I don't want to spend real money. I don't want to spend bucks on them because the prizes are naff. And spending VIP points on them. Ooh, actually, yeah, let's do loads of those. Oh, and this could be a good way to open packs. Possibly. Hmm. Okay, so I, I need to do 10 tomorrow and 10 the day after in order to get that. Okay. Yes. I forget you get prizes as well. Oh, maybe it's not so much of a waste, actually. 
I think we don't get the next one, though. Yes, okay. Uh, what's the next price? Yeah, these are all great. I'm an idiot. Why haven't I been doing this? Oh, my God. I mean, I guess because it's like a thousand VIP points or something like that to do the 10. Um, I think if you watch a video with the Gallimimus, you you can probably put in more, I think. You can put more in than 10. Okay, watch a video and then we'll see. I think it depends. After you watch the video, it randomly generates, like, whatever the resource is. If it's coin or food, I'm happy. But if it's DNA, maybe not. Oh, it's 50,000 coin. Uh, oh, no, 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 the video. No. Okay, it has broken the audio for the game. I love when it does this. Okay, we're going to have to wrap up the video here. Um, yeah, we got one extra ticket for that. Sweet. So I only need to log in tomorrow and we should be good. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you kiddies later. Oh, bye-bye. God, it sounds horrible. Ah!